It's getting a little nice and crispy and brown or whatever, so I'm gonna take them out. And what's we shopping, we shopping, we shopping. Hi everyone, this is me, Andre Review, you already know the vibes. I am back in another video, and today we're gonna be making funnel cake fries with marshmallow dipping sauce. I'm excited, I've never made this, so it's gonna be different. Um, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button, and also, you know, subscribe if you like the vibes, and hit the post notification bell. So you get notified when I post. I post every Monday and Friday, so you might as well stay tuned. So it helps me out a lot. But yeah, let's get started. I'm excited. So I'm going to be putting um, one half teaspoon of salt. I'm putting one fourth cup of sugar. Um, the sugar that I have is brown, just because I like brown sugar. They said white sugar, but it don't really make a difference. Um, now I'm going to be putting one teaspoon of baking powder. Make that thing pop. Okay, now I'm going to put in my two eggs. Right, cracking eggs. I'm going to be putting two cups of flour. We got a lot of flour, flour, flour for these. Okay. I'm gonna pour this all in. Ooh, ooh. All right. Now I'm gonna be putting one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Yeah. Pour that John in. And then I'm also gonna be putting one half cup of milk. You already know it's oat milk, why not? Why not? All right, pour it in and let it mix now. Like I said, I could just really mix it with my hands, but like I, if I have this mixer, I might as well use it. I put it on two, so it's like just mix so well. Mix it. So, low setback, guys. So I kind of didn't follow the rules. I just mixed everything in. Probably shouldn't have done that. So I might add some more milk. <laughs> That's what's happening. I'm only gonna add probably like one fourth cup of milk to see how it looks. So yeah, the one fourth of milk helped it out. It's back to how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like um, a pancake batter consistency, pretty much. So now it is. <laughs> So yeah, now I'm just gonna let it mix a little bit more and then I'm gonna pour it into this little bottle using a funnel. And then swim. I think it's good. We're really doing great. How it looks. Yeah, it's dripping. All right, so now I'm about to pour this into the little funnel I have. Let's see it, this is how it looks. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. That tunnel is pointless, guys. <laughs> I wasted so much time. I wasted so much time. So, what's up, y'all? I am back. Yes, I'm in different clothes. You're wondering why. I'll tell you. <laughs> so, I'm going to get my eyebrows in. I feel better now, guys. Okay. Yeah. Your eyebrows look pretty nice, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I poured the funnel cake mixture in here. Okay. And now I'm actually gonna use this um, New Wave stove top. I don't know if you guys know New Wave products. I like those products. My mom loves those products. So she has a lot of them. So I'm about to just turn it on and I'm gonna put the temperature at 300. So now I'm gonna put the temperature at 350 and then I'm gonna pour some oil in the pan. So I said use three to four cups of oil. I feel like that's a little, that's a lot, that's a lot. 
so I only have one cup at the moment and I'm just gonna pour just it says cover an inch of the pan so I'm just gonna do a nice coating of the oil itself in here I'm using um this frying pan that's also from New Wave so it's like the ones that have the, the copper <laughs> so that's what I'm using and let it get a little heated up all I did was twist the top right here to open it and now I'm gonna pour it like like long uh, strands so like y'all see y'all see the rhythm oh look at it jumping all right you know what I don't know what's wrong with mine because now that it's frying it's popping up but it's not like it's forming letters and not um <laughs> so then I just fry it for like um 30 to 60 seconds on one side and then flip it I'm more making curly fries, I guess. <laughs> so I'm using this to flip them just because it's sort of the smartest thing to do. Yeah, I'm literally making curly fries. I don't know how this happened, guys. <laughs> so please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already, you know. And like, hit the subscribe button if you do. If you're the vibes or whatever. you like or whatever. <laughs> and um, yeah, honestly. Hit the post notification bell so you know if I want to post. I post every Monday and Friday. So you might as well stay tuned. Ooh, that one a little crispy. Yeah, get crispy, y'all. Get crispy. Mm -hmm. Get crispy. Get crispy. Mm -hmm. Get crispy. Nice, it's getting a little brown color. So I look like me. <laughs> I couldn't help it. Couldn't help it. It's getting a little nice and crispy and brown or whatever, so I'm gonna take them out. Ah. Okay, now my life is a little bit of a joke. Just a little bit. taking out of the, the pan and stuff like that um, make sure you have a plate that has like napkins on top of the plate <laughs> and then you put the stuff on top so then the oil can drip off onto the napkin and not stay on the so don't mind the hot mess I'm having here but this is how I sum it up my and it's nice but I have the new wave thing on 300 I turned it down because you've seen the oil splash on me so now I got this puzzle. Got the puzzle here. Yum yum yum. Now I'm gonna pour it in here. See that that just was not a straight one. That one. Yeah, it's, they're just not gonna be straight. It is what it is at this point. The same. I haven't bumped into each other. Yeah, see that one just enclosed on that. See, you know what I mean? It just wants to get curly, which I'm okay with at this point. But they're all becoming a damn muddy. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna wait like a good 30 seconds and then uh, flip them as, as soon as I see one side brown. So you just see like the, the, the sides are getting a little brown. So that's a good time to flip it. That is a good time to flip it. See how nice and brown that is. Oh, that that was an epic feel. Yeah. 
size. See, now they're all brown. Now I'm gonna wait till the other side gets a little brown and then take it out. Yum. <laughs> but you just see how golden brown this is though. Like, come on. Let's inspect. a lot of oil bags. Anyway, so I'm back or whatever. So that literally just took 10 years. <laughs> so 15 minute recipe my behind. <laughs> but I mean, I don't know. It it looks good. I'm ready to eat it. But I'm about to make the marshmallow tip. Okay. So right now I got some fluff out here. Marshmallow fluff. Or if you don't have fluff, you can use marshmallow cream. Um, I believe fluff is a new, like, no, I think fluff and nutter is a New England thing. I believe so. Some of that sense, right? Am I wrong? Somebody let me know. The comment section. <laughs> I think it definitely is like a New England thing. Hi, 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 me. All right, you know what? <laughs> Now, I put like a good two scoops, just cause I don't know how much marshmallows I need. It's in here like that, I'm about to warm it up um, for 15 to 20 seconds. I think I'm gonna do 20 seconds, just cause, and you know, I'll show you guys the results. <laughs> it's somewhat nicely on this plate, so that's how much we got on the plate right now. Then here's also the fluff, I warmed it up. This is how it looks. It's really nice and fluffy. I can understand why they said use the whole jar because I, that was two scoops but like i don't know but yeah so now i'm gonna add some um powdered sugar onto the onto the funnel cake fries and this is the how it looks it looks so pretty look how nice that looks and golden oh yeah oh yeah you know we got the fluff out here whatever mm -hmm, fluff yeah <laughs> but yeah it looks nice and crispy you know, they are like fries, somewhat curly fries at some point. And then marshmallows. Oh, so, oh, oh, oh. yeah, we're done or whatever. I'm about to try it. This is my uncle. He's also going to try it, Oops. you know, let y'all know. Not a woman, I. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, let y'all know how, how good this is. Okay, so we can just try a piece now. Oh, what is this? It looks really, really good. So this is um funnel cake fries. And this is marshmallow dip, and you just dip it in. Only thing we missing is a roller coaster and a <laughs> few uh, carnival rides. Oh, mine's just broken. Okay. Delicious. Thumbs up. Guys, see you later. I gotta take this away. <laughs> These are really awesome. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah. Wow. Especially with the powdered sugar, too. This is amazing. Two thumbs up. Mm hmm. Oh, it's really good. All right. This is delicious. I love it. I'm about to enjoy this. So, this is a great recipe. I love it. Delicious. And, um, yeah, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up, you know? And if you really felt the vibes, like, hit subscribe, you know? Be chilling out here, you know? Hit subscribe and hit the post notification bell button to get over when I post. I post every Monday and Friday, so you might as well like But um yeah, please comment down below if you guys um think this looks delicious. And if you tried it, let me know. Well if you try to make it, like let me know how it went. But yeah. This is Miyajo Bio and we out. <laughs> Some light away. Whose life's a joke? So, that just took 10 years, okay? That, the recipe is saying 15 minutes, that's some lies. Hey, hey, I'm recording. So this is Miyajo video, you already know, oh, wow.